Hey, how's it going, my fellow YouTube audience? Just want to let you know that today we're going to learn something exciting and new. All right, well, not new, but it's going to be a little exciting. And today we're going to make ice cream. Now, I know what you're thinking. Don't you need a machine? And isn't it going to be a little too noisy? Well, here's the thing. There's a way you could do it without an ice cream machine. And I'm going to show you how. And it's really easy. First you're gonna need is some milk. Now, it determines on how much ice cream you wanna make, but I have a little container here. We're gonna pour some milk. So, there we go. You don't want, if you wanna put in a whole lot, you can, but just make sure you pour the milk to a good amount. All right, after the milk, now, you could put in half and half, like it could be one cup of half and half, or you could use heavy cream. I mean, what's ice cream without the cream? So you put in the heavy cream inside. I'll put in just a little less than a cup. All right, next we need is two tablespoons of sugar. So right now I have it already measured. So we put in a little sugar in here, and th what that does is add a little sweetness to the ice cream. Now you want to put in a half teaspoon of vanilla e extract. You don't want to put in too much because then you're not going to put in, because then it's going to taste way too much vanilla. So we just put in a half of that right inside there. Now normally when you pour liquids, I recommend not to do it over the over whatever you're doing because then it's going to add more now the thing is you can make vanilla ice cream with just that and that's it or you could add in your own flavor to it like chocolate maybe a little um or some peanut butter which if you want to do that just just make sure you melt the peanut butter in a micro safe, microwave safe container and then just every 30 seconds check it out just keep stirring it until it's nice and soft and liquid where you can pour it inside there. Now also, which I've got to take out, just don't mind me. Today we're gonna to make some strawberry ice cream. Now I got some strawberry syrup here, but if you wanna have your, you know, find, make your own kind of syrup, you can. And we're just gonna put in good amount so that way You feel that you'll be able to taste the syrup in there. All right. <clears throat> now with the whisk, you just want to start combining everything together. So that way it's all mixed well. And of course, we'll make it a little more easier too. Is if you have like your own blender or something, just put everything in there, blend everything up, take it out. And see how it's starting to turn into that strawberry. Now, with that, we're going to add. Now with that, we're just going to do this. Look up. Look up. Now we're just going to put this to the side. Now, here's the trick to it now. You're going to have two, two bags here. One bigger one, one smaller one. And the reason why you need them for like that is because of this. With the bigger bag, you're going to put in your ice. Now you put in three cups of ice, but you know, the more it is, it's better that way. Now that we got our ice in there, we're going to take our, our little ice cream, we're going to pour it into the, other into the other bag. Now, it's better to do this over the sink, only because if you make any spills or anything, 
It's not going to be all over the counter or whatever. See what I mean? You just got to play with it a little bit. Now once you have all that, you just want to close it up, but also at the same time make sure there's not too much air. And once you do that, you just place it inside the bag, inside your bigger bag. And you gotta make sure it's airtight too, the small bag where the cream is, so that way no milk or no ice or anything's gonna go into it. Now you're gonna add some salt. And the only reason why I need the salt is to make sure that the ice gets cold quick and you become ice cream. Let me pull this out first, so then I put in the salt. Then you pour into the bag. Now, what you want to do is, if you want, you can add some more ice to it. So that way you're, you have it surrounded with the ice. Now once that's sealed, what you want to do now is just close up the bag. Now I'm going to tell you this, if you want to work out, this will give you a good workout at, at home. And I'll show you why in just a minute. go there now that's all sealed up really good now I gotta give you a heads up it is gonna get cold so you're gonna need some gloves or a, or a towel to wrap around it because like I said it's gonna get cold down down Alright, now we're just going to take it and just start shaking. And if you want to have some music at home, if you have some music you want to listen to, hey, go for it. Give you some little workout. Alright, I think I put a little too much ice inside there. You know, that's not a problem. All you got to do is just open it and take out some of the ice. Because you gotta make room, make sure you have enough room to make it into the ice cream. So all you gotta do is just take it out, pour some of it out. Oops. And then once again. right back inside here now that once again we're going to put on the gloves because it will get cold and your hands going to start freezing which you don't want that because then you're going to get frostbite or whatever else could happen. But yeah, just start shaking it. And you want to do this for about five, maybe ten minutes. All right. Go in any way, shake it as long as it's 
being shaken. We're going to shake this for about five minutes and then we're going to see what happens. All right. And it's been a few minutes now, so let's see how it looks. All right. Of course, I could have a better grip once I have it. Yeah. All right. Once I'm done here, let's take a look. Now it shouldn't be completely made into ice cream, but you know that's. But at least it's going to be a good start. If you do it good enough, you can be, it'll be ready to eat right out of the bag. But it'll be better. It'll be a whole lot better if it was frozen. That's why they call it ice cream. So let's take a look inside. Oh yeah, it's turning nice and creamy. If you could see, I'm sure you could see inside the bag. See how it looks. Now we're just going to pour it into our little container. Now that that's like that, we're just gonna give it a little mixing around just to be on the safe side. See how good it's, see how nice and creamy it is. Now we're just gonna put the lid on and we're gonna put it in the freezer. I'd say in a few hours to check on it, but the best way to check it is if you leave it overnight, and we're, that's what we're going to do. So we'll take a look. We'll try, take a look back in the morning. So here we go. And all done. Hey everybody! All right, it's the next day. Let's check out, see how the ice cream looks that I made. And this is it. Now it's time for the taste test and see how it is. Hmm, it's not too bad. So, folks, so everybody, this is how you make the ice cream. So, enjoy, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. And also, don't forget, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to it if you haven't. So, take care, and I'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. All right, it's the next day. Let's check out, see how the ice cream looks that I made, and this is it. Now it's time for the taste test and see how it is. Hmm, it's not too bad. So folks, so everybody, this is how you make the ice cream. So enjoy, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. And also, don't forget, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, and also subscribe to it if you haven't. So take care, and I'll see you next time.